my area of expertise is um, really uh, gene regulation and um, signaling pathways um, in both development and in disease in this process. And um, more recently, our laboratory has really been focusing on the um, cells, other than the retinal ganglion cells, that might be participating in the progression of this disease. So we know that within the retina, as well as in the optic nerve, that there are other non-neuronal cell populations that are changing dynamically over time in this disease. And what we've learned is that some of these changes are among the earliest events that we can see. So even before we see decline of the neurons themselves, we can see that these cells are changing and responding and potentially um, um, impacting the health of the retinal ganglion cells, either positively or negatively. Um, and so we're really trying to focus in on what's the significance of some of these changes. Um, and we've been able to test some of these ideas and we're start beginning to think that they, at, the, at least at the earliest stages, that they're not beneficial. The disease is, um, even though I focus on early stages, it's a it's a gradual process. And even in a human patient, even partway through the disease, there may be part of the retina that's been diseased for quite a while and is severely affected, where another part of the retina is just starting to get sick. And so we think that even by focusing on these early stages, uh, we may be able to stop progression in that part of the retina that's just starting to get sick and sort of put the brakes on, on the progression of the disease. And so the goal is um, to really find treatments that are going to translate um, into therapies in the clinic that may even benefit patients that have already started to lose vision um, but maybe still retain some vision um, and functionality. We want to be able to preserve that. I think in all understanding any disease, we really have to get to the heart of what's happening um, to the tissue and to the cells, um, the mechanism, the process, um, and the pathways, the signaling pathways that are involved. These are events that we can then more specifically target with drugs or specific therapies. Um, and I think the what we've really learned over the last um, period of time the consortium's been working on this is, is that we're really starting to tease apart the players, both at the cellular level and also at the molecular level, um, so that we can be smarter about um, targeting those players and um, disabling the um, components of that that we think are destructive in this disease. The work over the last period of time has allowed us to really come up with very firm hypotheses or predictions about what we think is going on. Um, and we're now in a position to really um, test those ideas um, directly and also test whether specific therapies or treatments may that target those events that we think um, are involved are actually going to slow or, or cure the disease. And um, I think the challenge is, is to take these predictions or hypotheses um, and over the next three years really translate that um, into rigorous testing of those ideas coupled with um, testing the efficacy of specific um, therapeutics or interventions that target the pathways that we think are involved. I think one of the things that has been really unique about this um, process for me is the opportunity as a scientist to meet with the families that are affected by the disease. Um, every year we come for the annual fundraiser and we have an opportunity to meet with the donors and many of these donors um, have family members who um, have lost vision or are in the process of losing vision. And it really brings home how important this work is. And this is a this is a unique opportunity. Many scientists will work on diseases but never really meet a patient who's affected. Um, and I think this has been really important for me to focus our efforts and constantly keep in mind that the goal of this has to be to treat and cure this disease. And we really hope that our work is going to advance that effort.